Alrighty, here again with the chapter from Four Views of I. Today we're on chapter four, investigate physics, physical aspects. As we move around the tetrahedron, we find two sides that represent the physical, the body and mind. These are instinct and intellect, respectively. They are represented in physics. Physics is a natural science that studies matter and its motion and behavior through space and time, as well as related entities of energy and force. For the purpose of this book, we will simply call physics and the physical, the physical aspects. Extracted from dictionary.com are the following definitions. Physics, noun physics, the branch of science concerned with the nature and properties of matter and energy. The subject matter of physics, distinguished from that of chemistry and biology, includes mechanics, heat, light, and other radiation, sound, electricity, magnetism, and the structure of atoms, the physical properties and phenomenon of something. Physical, adjective, relating to the body as opposed to the mind, involving bodily contact or activity, relating to things perceived through the senses as opposed to the mind tangible or on concrete. Many years ago, I came across a book entitled You Are What You Read in a Christian Bookstore. And I flipped it over to the back cover to glimpse what it was about. As I, su <laughs> As I suspected, the author seemed to imply that The synopsis on the back led me to believe. I put the book down, not because I disagreed with the title, but because I disagreed with the conclusion. This big story event came to mind today while I was thinking about the power of thought. I did a quick search to see if I could find the book on Amazon, but couldn't. I don't remember the author's name, and I assumed it's out of print. No matter, I probably still wouldn't purchase purchased it. Although if an inexpensive Kindle version were available. I am completely against banning books. Burning books is anathema to me. Fahrenheit 451 comes to mind. The burning of the library at Alexandria is a tragedy of epic proportions. Don't get me started. Anyway, I have always said all books should be read. Warning, warnings about the content may be placed on the wrapper, like the opaque covering of adult magazines. Book censorship is not a big problem today, however. Reading is too slow for the modern age. Books are passe. The last few years of reading books by David Wilcock and others speaking of secret space programs made me wonder about the possibility that I was part of the secret space program. Of course, I had my mind wiped when my enlistment ended. That's why I can't remember it. This is not the first time I thought of something like this may have happened. I also had thoughts along the same lines when I read Peter Moon's Montauk books. Yes, I read many strange, I read many strange books. And I admit it, they have influenced me. I did my daily Bible study for many years. I do not regret any of it. Laissez-faire is the attitude I extend to reading. Read a ver wide variety of things. If you have a book that teaches one thing and there are books refuting it, read them too. Let me insert my analogy of lottery scratch-offs. The one big winning ticket can be only be in one location. So, if you never go to that liquor store that has that particular ticket, you will never win the big prize. If you want to find that ticket, increase your odds by buying at multiple locations. Movies, television, streaming, and narr narrations are bumping books from the scene. Newsflash, Amazon is not what shut down the big bookstores. Technology did. Verbal storytelling was replaced by books when the general population became literate. Books have been replaced by television and movies. Now the general population has become lazy. No matter if it's stories around the campfire, the latest binge on Netflix, the latest blockbuster movie, or the latest blog, book, or cereal box you've read, memes are injected. I find the word investigate fits the physical aspects best because they are tangible. We simply are, we simply are the way we are, 
and it is up to us to decide what to do with what we are. Extracted from Dictionary.com, the following definition. Investigate. Verb. Carry out a systematic or formal inquiry to discover and examine the facts of an incident, allegation, etc., so as to establish the truth. Since the body of visible aspects of our identity, I'm sorry, let me say that again. Since the body is the visible aspects of our identity, it behooves us to investigate how it works and maintain it well. In truth, the dividing line between physical and spiritual is very fuzzy. Investigation of the whole I begins with instinct. And that's the next chapter, instinct. So that's it. It was a short, short read today. And uh, I think I would like to hear back from you guys. What's going on? All right. That's it. And I'm going to end. Have a good day.